Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And we've got another high-end Akai on deck now that I finally uh, got my little problem figured out on the motor replacement issue. Uh, had, uh, had a lot of motor noise in the first attempt and I had to do a little experimenting to find uh, to find the, the, the right type of motor and wiring and all that that uh, is, is quieter. Um, this comes from Raj in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, that's Raj, R-A-J. I gotta say, I love that name. Uh, <laughs> if I ever had my name legally changed, I might just call myself Raj. Uh, I think that's a really cool name. Uh, Raj uh, made a pretty valiant attempt to repair this thing. Um, he knew uh, that the cheapest replacement for the for the uh, run capacitors would be a ceiling fan capacitor. That's the same type that I use these days because they work just fine. Um, only problem is that the motor itself was was just bad. And uh, if you've been reading my website and watching my videos, you know that all the high-end Akai machines, not the CR83, but all the others, that is uh, the CR8081 uh, and GXR82D, uh, they all run a little bit slow. Uh, I don't know if that's because that's how they came from the factory or because, uh, you know, reduced magnetism over the years. Maybe the uh, magnets in these motors get weak over the years and cause them to run slower. I really don't know. But so the first thing I'm going to do is, is check the speed, make sure the speed's exact. So the first tape we're going to pop into this thing is a 400 cycle test tone. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it's, a, it's an RCA test tape with a 400 cycle test tone. So we're just going to uh, go straight to our or a speed readout and uh, any number between 395 and 405 is going to be in spec uh, the perfect number would be 400 so here we go okay give her a little time to stabilize and there we go we are right on the money And uh, if the speed should ever drift, there is a speed adjustment inside. Uh, the new motor I install uh, does have adjustable speed. So now we can move on to the unit. Uh, let's see, what am I doing here? Okay, wrong deal. Okay, let's go ahead and pop a music tape in. Here we go. That's a little better. Okay, here we go. Got some Neil Sedaka in a Jim Reeves case. Everybody's favorite. What they're saying isn't true. Okay, get some. Let's take a look at our output little meters, make sure we get both speakers. Okay, you're gonna switch tracks a bunch of times. Okay, now those dropouts, that's my fault. That's something that I record onto the tape, and there, there it comes back. Okay, now the right side drops out. That's, uh, that's the result of my testing that got itself permanently recorded on the tape. Okay, so that's uh, we know the we know the deck's working properly now. Uh, one thing I'll say about this particular deck is the left VU meter tends to stick. I don't try to repair VU meters. Some of them have jeweled movements. It's like trying to fix a watch. I'm not a watch repairman. I'm not about to try to repair a jeweled meter movement. It's way beyond my uh, capabilities. Uh, so uh, another thing is that the fast forward is disabled. I don't recommend ever using fast forward with an 8-track tape because 8-track um, tape, it's, it's basically just a big hub of tape, and it's pulled out from the center of that hub, meaning it's got a whole bunch of layers of tape pressing against it when it's trying to pull out. Uh, Fast forwarding a tape causes it to t causes it to pack more tightly on the on the hub. Uh, using both play and fast forward causes all kinds of problems because you've got uneven packing here. Uh, so I just don't even re-enable the fast forward function on these eight tracks. Uh, you know, it may have been okay when eight track tapes were new, but you know, even back in the 70s, they were known for jamming. So. Um, 
this is not a situation that improves with age. So uh, we've got good playback, we've got recording capability, and that's really the best that can be done uh, in this day and age on these uh, on these high-end Akai's because of uh, parts availability issues. So uh, with that being stated, I'm Barry with Barry's 8 Dragon Classic Car Radio Repair, and you can now send your high-end Akai's in. I don't know how many customers I've disappointed over the past few months saying that I'm, no, I'm holding off on the high-end Akai's for right now. Uh, I do have the problem worked out. Everything is cool, so you can send them in. Uh, my number is 928-533-9666. My website is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Thank you, Raj, for your business clear from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And we'll see you guys next time. I used to know how to talk.